ask and you shall receive. God is incredible. I just, the, the, what, I, what I'm about to say could not have come from my mind. There's no way. And so what I do is I go to sleep and I'll like think about an idea and I just keep thinking about it as I fall asleep and then I'll wake up. And so I, it, last night I'm trying to put together what do those people at the campfire that were selling out Peter, they sold him out and say, hey, aren't you one of his guys? Or aren't you one of the disciples? And then that's caused Peter to deny Christ. And I'm thinking, I'm getting the image of the crown of thorns in my head. I'm like, what does the crown of thorns and the people that sold out Peter have anything to do with one another? And what does the crown crown of thorns represent? Because crown of thorns, everything is significant in the Bible. So I just fall asleep thinking about it. And then somewhere along the way, I'm thinking of that parable of the thorns, how people grow up. Um, you know the parable of the seed where you threw it on the rocky soil and couldn't take root and you throw it in with uh thorns and it'll grow up amongst the thorns and it'll kind of strangle it and i feel like that's us in this world we're growing up amongst the thorns you see what i'm getting with this so but what does it have to do to relate because last night before i went to bed i posted a video saying like who are these people who are selling out peter like you would think that if they're sitting around the campfire and like wait was that was that jesus who just went in there and yeah that was jesus the, the, they wouldn't they wouldn't sell him out right like good normal normal people wouldn't sell out christ they wouldn't be like oh they'd be like oh my gosh that's jesus in there was he okay what, what's, what's he doing with the pharisees in the midnight secret court no instead they're like hey aren't you one of his disciples like who are these people who are these people selling him out to the pharisees hey pharisees come on over here we got we got some more of them right these are the thorns these are the thorns these are the people in the comments who are causing us to sin by by just putting us against each other and putting all this fake stuff so what does that have to do with the crown of thorns well i'm thinking well if we're growing up amongst thorns and he's so they give him a crown as a like what a king has as a crown so he's the king of growing up well growing up amongst the thorns I couldn't come up with this stuff on my own. There's no way. So, did anyone else know what the crown of thorns represents? I'm sure you, all you on her are so smart. Like, you're going to tell me some incredible story about the crown of thorns. But the only thing I can compare it to is that he was the, he was the king of... Look, he died for us. For all the thorns. For all, even, even the ones... Even the ones who pierced him. He still died for them as long as they, they believe. And these are the same people... A, a representation of the thorns are the people who were solding out Peter and caused him to deny Christ three times before the cock crows.